gentlemen. Uh, first and foremost, we'd like to welcome you and thank you for joining us today um, and supporting us in the celebration of the 98th anniversary of the Republic of Turkey. Uh, to start off the program, uh, I would like to invite the president of the Turkish Aliskin America Foundation, Mr. Shubhat Temerov, uh, to speak and enlighten us further on today's gathering here this morning. Dear friends and official of the city of Philadelphia, we all know that United States of America is a country founded by immigrants from all over the world, people different nationalities, religious and cultures. One of those countries is Turkey, whose flag we are proud to be raised here today. Modern Turkey is a common home for Turkish people all over the world. On October 29, Turkish American and Turks around will celebrate 98th anniversary of Republic of Turkey. On that date, 1923, Turkish Grand National Assembly under the leadership of Mustafa Kemal Atatürk Proclamate republic that fulfill Turkish people aspiration for freedom and justice. Realizing Atatürk vision of the modern state, Turkey has transferred from the past into a democratic nation founded universal values such as peace, human dignity and equal rights. Over the past century, Turkish Americans have also contributed economic, scientific, technological progress uh, to America's diverse cultural fabric. We are Ahuska Turks. We are nation has been dispersed all over the world as a result 200 years of colonial and world wars. Oppression being cut off from its historical homeland. Communication from the United States of America and especially from the city of Philadelphia give us helping hand and opportunity to live in this country our most difficult times. Today, as a full citizen, United States of America, we realize our full potential contribute will be city of Philadelphia and promotion of the peace and harmony in our community. As a great veteran, Mustafa Kemal Atatürk once said, peace at the home, peace around the world. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Tamara, for that speech. Uh, next up, we would like to invite a very special guest uh, came, coming all the way from Turkey, Turkish Member of Parliament and Vice President of MHP Party, Professor Mevlut Karakaya. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends. Today celebrates the 98th anniversary of the Republic of Turkey. I would like to thank you all for joining us today in this family event. If you don't mind, I would like to continue my speech in Turkish, it will be easier for me. Değerli arkadaşlar, değerli katılımcılar, bugün bizim toy günümüz. 
Türkiye Cumhuriyeti'nin kuruluşunun 98. yıl dönümü. Sizleri toyumuzda görmekten, sizlerle birlikte olmaktan son derece mutlu olduğumu ifade etmek istiyorum. Türkiye Cumhuriyeti'nin kuruluşunun aslında uzun ve hazin bir hikayesi vardır. Burada bunu uzun uzun anlatamayacağım elbette. Müsaadeleriniz olursa birkaç hususa dikkatlerinizi çekmek istiyorum. Bugün 98. yıl dönümünü kutladığımız Türkiye Cumhuriyeti bizim tarihteki 17. ve sonuncu devletimiz. Aslında 98 yılın çok daha ötesinde binlerce yıllık devlet geleneğine sahip olan bir milletiz. Son devletimiz Türkiye Cumhuriyeti'nin kuruluş hikayesi şöyledir. Birinci Dünya Savaşı sonunda Osmanlı Devleti yenik sayıldı ve topraklarının önemli bir kısmı işgal edildi. İstanbul hükümeti işgal altındaydı. İstanbul'daki meclis dağıtılmıştı. Anadolu'ya geçen Gazi Mustafa Kemal Atatürk önderliğinde bir milli mücadele başlatıldı. Bu mücadelenin en ilginç yanı şudur. Milli mücadele Atatürk'ün isteğiyle seçilmiş temsilcilerden oluşan Büyük Millet Meclisi tarafından demokratik usullere uygun olarak yürütülmüştür. Büyük Millet Meclisi İstanbul'dan gelen milletvekilleriyle Anadolu'dan seçilen temsilcilerden oluşan bir meclis olmuş. 23 Nisan 1920 tarihinde açılmıştır. Bu meclis aynı zamanda hükümet olarak görev yapmıştı. Bu tarihte benzeri olmayan bu benzeri e, tarihte benzeri olmayan bir durumdur. Bu nedenle meclise gazilik ünvanında verilmiş milli mücadeleyi yürüten gazi meclistir. Değerli arkadaşlar Milli mücadelenin zaferle sonuçlanması modern Türkiye'nin temellerinde atılmasını sağlamış. Bunun ilk adımı da 29 Ekim 1923 tarihinde tam 98 yıl önce yani bugün egemenlik kayıtsız şartsız milletindir denmek suretiyle Cumhuriyet ilan edilmiştir. Değerli arkadaşlar, bugün Türkiye büyüyen ekonomisi, güçlü demokrasisi, temel insani değerlere olan bağlılığı, ilkeli ve vizyoner dış politikası, başta göç olmak üzere küresel sorunların çözümüne sunduğu katkılarla bölgesinde ve Türkiye'de önemli bir konuma ulaşmıştır. Bu vesileyle şunu da hatırlatmakta fayda var diye düşünüyorum. Türkiye bugün itibariyle 4 milyona yakın Suriyeli sığınmacıyı topraklarında misafir eden İdlib bölgesinde yaşayanlarla birlikte 9 milyona yakın yerinden yurdundan olmuş insanın bakımını yapan onlara kucak açan bir ülkedir. Dünyada bunu yapan bir başka ülke yoktur. Değerli dostlar, ülkemiz, ülkelerimiz arasındaki mevcut siyasi, ekonomik ve kültürel ilişkilerin daha da ileri taşınmasında sizlerin buradaki sıcak ve dostane ilişkileri bizim için değerlidir. Bu güzel şehir Philadelphia'da 
yaşayan ve Türk dili konuşan ülkelerden göç etmiş kıymetli soy soydaşlarımızla Türk Amerikan toplumuna çalışma, gayret ve katkıları dolayısıyla teşekkür ediyorum. Bu birliktelik ortamını sağlayan kıymetli Amerikalı dostları ve siyasetçileri selamlıyorum. Dear friends, our alliance is especially strong because of the close ties between our people. I grant and salute dear American friends and the politicians for providing this great friendship and platform for us to get together. Thank you for all. Thank you very much, Vice President Mevlut Karakaya. Uh, next, we would like to invite up to the podium from the New York Turkish Consulate, Fehmi Çetin. Honorable Mr. Mevlüt Karakaya, member of Grand National Assembly of Turkey, Honorable David Ho, City Councilman at Large, Honorable Officials, esteemed members of the Turkish American community, esteemed members of Turkish American community, distinguished guests. It is my great pleasure to attend this flag raising ceremony on the occasion of the 98th anniversary of the proclamation of the Republic of Turkey. I would like to pay tribute to Gazi Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, founder of the Republic of Turkey and his comrades in arms and our martyrs. I would like to express my gratitude to officials for attending this meaningful event. We are proud of love riding and hard-working Turkish Ariskan Americans. Our community is an integral part of American society and they prove this in all occasions. Throughout the pandemic, Turkish American community helped their neighbors and all communities. Community reach out is really important in politics. We appreciate local authorities' support for Turkish Americans. We will keep doors of our Turkish, new Turkish house in New York open to anyone wishing to enjoy Turkish hospitality. I would like to extend my special thanks to Turkish Ahiskan American Foundation and the Office of Councilman at Large, David O, for their efforts regarding Turkish American friendship. Happy 98th anniversary to our republic. Thank you all. Thank you, Mr. Femi Chetin. Uh, now we'll take a quick break of the speakers and we will all invite you to join us in the national anthem of the United States of America followed by the Turkish national anthem. Thank you.
Thank you very much for joining us in the national anthem for both countries. Uh, next, we would like to invite up to the podium Philadelphia Councilman, Mr. David O. All right, thank you very much. Assalamu uh, alaikum. And uh, thank you for being here. It is uh, a wonderful occasion, the first time in our city's history that we have raised the flag of Turkey on the occasion especially of the declaration, proclamation of an independent republic, a democratic republic of uh, Turkey in 1923. Um, let me just briefly say something about flags, because we have these flag raisings. Um, when there was conflict and people went into battle, they had to have some way of communicating and organizing, and so there were flags. This group was uh, one flag, that group was another flag, and the flags would be a way of uh, gathering people together, organizing them, and having a level of command and control. And the bravest of the soldiers would carry the flag. Because if the flag fell, there would be chaos and a loss of control, and the people would be demoralized. And so flags were not just a symbol, they were a tool that gathered people together and gave them life and gave them victory. Flags have come to also represent nations and the people of those nations. When we raise the flag, we are raising the identity of people. Here in Philadelphia, we have people of Turkish descent uh, who gather together to celebrate their culture, their language, their struggles, their history, their aspirations. I wanna say a little bit about a particular group of the Turkish people uh, that uh, we are gathered with today. And for many who don't know, and I did not know this, that in 1944, uh, Joseph Stalin uh, expelled from Georgia Turkish people. Miskeshin Turks, about 115,000 Turkish people were sent out to clear that area to prepare for a possible invasion or war by, by the Soviet Union against the Turkey. Of those 115,000 people that were removed from their homeland, between 30,000 and 50,000 died of starvation and other abuses, and they were scattered through Central Asia. These are many of the people here today, and uh, our president, Sharat Temurov, a organization of the Turks from Central Asia who retained their identity, their culture, their language, and their unity. And they come here to Philadelphia as Philadelphians and Americans. By raising this flag, we welcome them and let them know we are learning about them, we understand who they are, and we uh, embrace them as our neighbors, as our citizens, and uh, as our leaders in our city. So on this day, where everyone should celebrate democracy, freedom, and people's choice for justice and humanity, this flag symbolizes the hope and aspiration of all people who wish well for the Turkish community in Turkey, around the world, and right here in Philadelphia. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. David o. One, for the amazing speech, and two, for your contribution to today's event. We would like to thank you again. Next to the podium, we would like to invite City Representative, Mrs. Sheila Hess. Thank you so much. Well, good morning, everyone, and happy Friday. 
I am Sheila Hess and I am so proud and humbled to be able to serve as Philadelphia City Representative and it is my honor, absolute honor, to be here with all of you today on behalf of Mayor Jim Kenney to support and celebrate each and every one of you, our local Turkish community, as you celebrate your 98th anniversary of the Republic of Turkey. I want to thank all of our special guests who are here today, those of who have traveled to be here in Philadelphia. Um, thank you to the president of the Turkish uh, Askan American Foundation, our Turkish um, head consul of the Republic of Turkey in New York, of course, council member at large, David O, and his entire staff. Um, thank you so much to Romana Lee Akayama, a deputy director of our Office of Immigrant Affairs and her team, and to my team, Rob Nanamaker, who helped make it happen, and Randy Duque from our Human Relations Office as well, who are all here to join and celebrate with you today. And we want to welcome everyone. It's a special occasion, as you heard Councilman O say, it is the first flag raising for Turkey here in the city of Philadelphia, right here at City Hall. And as you know, Philadelphia loves being a city of firsts. We are also proud to be the first World Heritage City in the nation. And we set a standard for the rest of the country and how to fully welcome and respect the many cultures of our diverse population. And having flag raisins like these today, where Philadelphia truly honors diversity, it is demonstrating our commitment to all of our residents. And it also shows the entire city that everyone here belongs and that the cultures are interwoven into the fabric within our city, the city of brotherly and sisterly love. So I wish all of you a wonderful celebration and we encourage each and every one of you to feel pride as your flag, the turkey flag, is flying here at City Hall today on your 98th anniversary. It's a testament to how much of a valued and important part all of you are within the city's population. So Mayor Jim Kenney, who unfortunately could not be here today, but he has issued a very special proclamation to honor this event. And I'd like to call up um, the president. Yes. <laughs> I'm just going to read an excerpt of it, and at the end we can take photos. It says, it is my privilege to read this excerpt. Today, Turkey has been an ally of the United States for many decades, making significant contributions for global peace, prosperity, and economic and cultural exchanges. And today, on October 29th, the Turks and Turkish Americans celebrate the 98th Turkish Republic Day. The city of Philadelphia proudly joins the Turkish Haskin American Foundation of Philadelphia and the Turkish American community of Philadelphia in this celebration of the Turkish Republic Day. Therefore, I, James F. Kenney, Mayor of the City of Philadelphia, do hereby proclaim the day of Friday, October 29th of 2021 to officially be Turkish Republic Day in Philadelphia and we urge all the residents to be aware of the many many contributions of the Turkish American population of our city as well as helping make Philadelphia a welcoming city of choice in which we get to live we get to work and we get to prosper signed by Mayor James F. Kenney thank you so much and congratulations and we are honored to be here with you, all of you today thank you One second before we let you leave. Thank you so much, and to show a sign of our gratitude, we have a gift that uh, with Professor Meredith Kalaka would like to present you.
Last but not least, we would like to invite to the podium from the Office of Immigrant Affairs, Romana Lee Akiyama. Thank you so much. Good morning, welcome everyone. It's my honor and privilege to be here today. My name is Romana Lee Akiyama and I'm the Deputy Director of the Office of Immigrant Affairs. And thank you so much to Council Member Oh and Sheila Hess and her office, the Office of City Representative, for hosting today's flag raising at City Hall. And thank you to the Turkish Ahiskan American Foundation for organizing today's beautiful program. And we welcome our distinguished guests who have come all the way from Turkey, Washington, D.C., and New York City to be here today to celebrate with our local Turkish American community. Today we celebrate the 98th Republic of Turkey's independence and honor and recognize those of Turkish descent who have decided to come and make Philadelphia their home. You know, I like to say that two, two facts about Philadelphia. Philadelphia is number one, a city of neighborhoods, and Philadelphia is a welcoming city. We have an immigrant population of over 232,000 people that makes up about 15% of our city's population. And our office, the Office of Immigrant Affairs, is charged with promoting the well-being of Philadelphia's immigrant communities and facilitating the inclusion of immigrants into the civic, economic, and cultural life of our city. And we are thrilled to get to know our new friends. And I, this is the first time that we're raising the Turkish flag here. And so we're really grateful to get to know our new neighbors and friends of Turkish descent again in Philadelphia. I'm going to share a fun fact about the connection that I learned about that Philadelphia has with Turkey. Former President Soleiman Demirel, who served from 1993 to 2000 and who served as the Prime Minister seven times in Turkey, actually has a deep connection to Philadelphia. I'm not sure how many of you know this. Uh, but just down the street, a few blocks away from here, is the headquarters of a nonprofit global organization that selects leaders from all across the world to come together to exchange ideas, work together, build bridges, not divides, and strives to make this world one that is more peaceful, prosperous, and just. This organization is called Eisenhower Fellowships. And just before I joined the city about a year and a half ago, that is where I worked, and that's where I learned about President Demerol. And that, he was one of the very first Eisenhower Fellows that was selected to come to the United States to travel around the country. And this is in 1954. President Demerol kept his relationship with the Eisenhower Network for the rest of his life until he passed away into 2015. And I share this with those who are not aware of the special connection that Turkey has with Philadelphia. And it's so exciting for me to know that Philadelphia and the resources that we have right here in our own backyard have the ability to make a global impact on some of our world's greatest leaders. So again, on behalf of the city of Philadelphia, we're so honored and so proud um, to be a welcoming city that recognizes the value, diversity of all of our residents. So congratulations. Uh, we have another gift we'd like to present, uh, this time presented by Mr. Fehmi Chetin. Show our gratitude. close out, we have one more gift to give out, again, to Mr. David O, this time presented by our President Shukat Tenwa. Close out, finally, final close out. Um, we'd like to thank you all for showing up again and showing your support, the utmost support. 
uh, for joining us today in celebrating the 98th anniversary of the Republic of Turkey. Uh, we as all Turkish, as speaking for the whole Turkish community, would like to thank the city of Philadelphia and all of its representatives for making us feel welcome in the city and would like to continue to make the city of Philadelphia proud. Thank you so much.